It's Nick Atkin on South China Morning Post Martial Arts. I am here with Mr. Coach Mark Sanjal from Team Lakai. Mark, how are you doing, sir? I'm always good and hello there. I know you're always good. You're always smiling. <laughs> uh, you're always great. You always talk to all of us. But it's, yeah, it's been a tough year for Team Lakai. Uh, you know, especially coming off Tokyo again, tough losses for some of your boys. Now you've got a great chance to end the year in style with a few wins. Uh, how is everything going going into this on Friday? Yeah, uh, the boys uh, prepared well for this uh, coming competition on this November 8th, Friday, and uh, uh, it's a tough roller coaster uh, loss for uh, our team, but. Um, yeah, the end of this year, we hope that we will win, regain again those losses and prove to the world that uh, we're one of the best. And Kevin had a tough loss against Bibi. Um, Honorio had a tough loss against Shinya. Afterwards, Mr. Chatri had some nice words for you guys. He said, all the haters, you can shut up. <laughs> how, how cool was that to have the support of, of, of the boss? Yeah, we're very thankful to the boss because uh, He's very supportive since day one, and uh, yeah, we we saw we saw our weaknesses, we saw uh, the losses that we had, but we're trying our best. You know, we're trying our best to be part of the one of the one championship, which is uh, uh, we want to prove that we're one of the best. So we're training hard for our weaknesses, like in wrestling and grappling. So. As I've said before, this is mixed martial arts. We have to um, hasten all the our skills that we have. So we, if we will, uh, we will in the cage, we will, uh, we will be complete. We will be complete uh, in, uh, uh, in all aspects of uh, in fighting. Now, it wasn't all bad in Tokyo. Lito Adewang, debut. Uh, yeah. Great win for him, huh? Yeah, Lito Adiwang, uh, good, good because <laughs> he won that time by uh, Kilak, uh, by Kyo. He stopped because he broke the arm of uh, uh, Izo, uh, yeah, Kenzo Ikeda. And uh, good for him because it's his uh, debut in one championship pro uh, in higher stage. Because uh, he came from the one warrior uh, series. And how have the other guys taken to helping Lito? Have they embraced him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we treat each other. There, we have a close, tight relationship. We're like brothers there and sisters. So we they help each other uh, in preparing their fights. Okay. Now run me down through Friday's card at the Mall of Asia Arena. We're going to have Jay Hay against Tony Toru. How how do you think it's going to go? Yeah. Um, this is not the first time. It's the second time that we all met. But before the the fought in a bantamweight division, uh, but according to Jay, uh, they're in his division now in flyweight, and uh, he have to win that fight you know, to prove that, and for him to be back in the uh, title contender. And then Edward Folayang looking to get back that loss against Eddie Alvarez. It was a crazy fight last time we were here in August. Uh, how important is it for Edward to win this one? Yeah, yeah, Ed Edward should win this fight. Last time he's winning the fight, but in <laughs> there's a uh, single mistake, and then he lost. But I know he learned a lot. Uh, he learned lesson from that loss, and I know him. Ever since if he lost, he'll be back better and stronger. Okay, and we have our main event, Joshua Pasio. He's up uh, against Randy Catalan. Uh, another big fight for him. Yeah, for the. Um, for that was on the line, right? Yeah, yeah. For the main event, we have Joshua Pasho against uh, Rene Catalan. And uh, yeah, this, uh, Rene Catalan deserves to fight in the title of shot since she has six uh, winning streak. And uh, we'll see who's the best. But I know, I saw how uh, Joshua Pasho, hungry he is. I know that um, he will be still the champion, the flyweight champion. Are any of the other guys here to support the guys who are fighting? Yeah, yeah, all of the guys. We have Kevin here, Honorio, Danny, and other guys to support. Strong team to support their uh, teammates. And what, what's your message to the Filipino guys out there, the crowd who's going to come and watch? Uh, my message to our Filipino mga kababayan, panuorin pa natin yung mga ating mga kababayan. Supportahan natin 
this coming Friday, November 8th, sa Mall of Asia Arena. Kita-kita po tayo doon. Thank you very much and God bless. Don't take my word for it. You want to come and watch, take Coach Mark's word for it. Thanks very much, Mark. Cheers, sir. Thank you very much. All right, much. good luck to you guys.